Hello, and welcome back to yet another video in the beautiful island country of Taiwan. Today, I am at the Taizong Gaotie Huotie Zan, or the Taizong High Speed Rail Station, and I'm going to be taking a short ride on Taiwan's high speed rail service to the capital of Taipei. The train station is chock full of amenities, from bathrooms, to baggage storage lockers, to lots and lots of self-service ticket machines and eateries, just to name a few. Also, just recently, a metro connection opened at the station, which allows you to take the Taichung Metro from the high-speed rail station into downtown and then subsequently to its terminus of Beituan. I have a upcoming in-depth full ride video on that metro system coming soon, so stay tuned and stay subscribed to get notified for that video. But back to the main topic at hand. Today I'm taking the high speed rail to Taipei, but that means I have to get through the fare gates first. After heading through the fare gate, I head up to my platform to wait for my train. So here comes my train for today. My train for today is comprised of a single THSR 700T train set. Now, fun fact, these train sets are actually based off the Shinkansen 700 series widely used in Japan. These trains were delivered to Taiwan High Speed Rail since the start of 2007 and have been operating ever since. They have a designed top speed of 315 kilometers per hour or 196 miles per hour, but only hit 300 kilometers per hour in operation. So here we are on board. I'm traveling in standard class today, and as always, my seat is a window seat. As we depart, I think it's time we take a look at our route for today. After leaving Taizong, we head north, stopping at Banqiao before stopping at Taipei. Our trip today will take a mere 43 minutes, and we will be hitting our top speed of 300 kilometers per hour for most of the route. So, I think it's time we took a look around our seat. First off, the legroom in standard class does not disappoint. Yes, you heard me, even in standard class you get heaps of legroom. Down here in the seat back pocket, you can find a Tea Life magazine, which is the magazine used by Taiwan High Speed Rail. Oh, and let's not forget the safety manual. Moving on upward, you can find a fold-down table. These were not exactly the sturdiest, but do the job. And hey, I've seen a lot worse. 
These fold-down tables even have a cup holder, which is a nice touch. There is also a coat hook per seat, which I found was very useful as I was wearing my hat on the day of recording. Lastly, there is also a window blind, which is very useful. There is also a small pedestal right next to the window, which you can put drinks or rest your hand upon. There are also overhead luggage racks, but these are more meant for carry-on luggage. If you do have bigger luggage, there are spaces in the vestibule to put them. This lever accesses the seat's recline, and it's actually pretty good. The seats in standard class are just perfect. The padding is just enough to make it feel comfortable, but not too much that you get spoiled. I am also quite the fan of the arched headrests. It just makes napping a whole lot easier. Seats also come with these handles, which you can use to get an extra grip when you're walking through the train. Overall, a very decent seat. So, now let's enjoy the views as we speed on to Taipei. Now, if you're going into this thinking that there's awesome catering on board, well, I'm sorry to burst your bubble. Catering on board is mostly consisting of simple snacks and drinks that are delivered throughout the train using a trolley. I got myself here a small baked donut, which tasted pretty decent. So, time to explore this train a bit. I am currently in standard class, which is laid out in a 3-2 configuration. Heading out of the passenger area and into the vestibule, we can find bathrooms and a vending machine. Now please note, these amenities vary by car. Let's take a quick look at the bathrooms. I am happy to report that everything was in clean and functioning order.
here is something that is quite disappointing. There is this charging station, which I believe is in card number 4. Now, it's really nice for there to be an area where you can charge your devices. However, why aren't there charging ports for every single seat? I mean, think about it. If you're in the passenger area and you leave your phone in the charging station, someone can steal your phone. The even more egregious thing is that the power outlets per seat is actually a business class feature. So if you actually want the convenience of charging your phone while you're sitting at your seat, you have to pay extra. As we speed through the tunnels that lead to Taipei Main Station, how was this trip overall? Well, in my opinion, I thought it was pretty decent, aside from the nitpicks I had, like the charging station or the lackluster catering. But more importantly, how much did this trip cost? Well, unfortunately, I don't have the ticket that I used on this trip, however, a short look at the THSR website can reveal a standard class fare is around 700 Taiwan dollar which, in my opinion, is not really that bad. Yes, it is a bit more than a TRA ticket, but then again, this train takes you between Taipei and Taichung in just under an hour, while the TRA trains take around three. So overall, would I recommend this trip? Absolutely. The high-speed rail is very reliable and it has a lot of frequent departures. Not only that, but these stations are also really nice, albeit a bit out of downtown. So the next time you're in Taiwan and you don't want to fly or take the car, but you want a fast way to get from point A to point B, I highly recommend you give Taiwan High Speed Rail a try.